All right, folks. The AEC Armor Car Tier 5 Normal British Wheel Medium Tank. It's not a tank, it's an armor car, duh. But with this vehicle, we will have fully covered all the vehicles in this upcoming tech line. Now this vehicle is what you expect out of an armor car design. So like the AMD 178B already in the game, or the Lanchester armor car except larger wheels, larger turret, looks like the Cavalier's turret or so from the tier 5 medium tank, with a 6 pounder gun, a 57mm, but it's slim so smaller target or so, I guess, not really, but I wish we would have a Toyota Hilux with a Dushka in the back as a tier 5 Japanese or it's Russian <laughs> it's not Japanese but also could put a KPV machine gun in the back I think the quad cannons the 23 millimeter auto cannons will be too heavy for a Toyota Hilux so no more stitching begin stitching let's kick up some dirt Bren machine gun on top of the turret it's not a bad looking vehicle and most tier 5s are usually about 17 horsepower or so this thing has about 20 so it's a little bit faster compared to medium tanks but not as fast as a chafee or a amx elc for that matter but they actually modeled the leaf spring suspension at the bottom that's interesting dust cover for the engine deck fire extinguisher yada yada uh, it's okay i mean it's a six pounder gun but historically they actually put a 75 millimeter onto this vehicle so you could have a tier 6 situation with the amd 178 but they didn't put it from the cavalier it's a tier 5 gun all right super test stats 57 millimeter or six pounder gun it actually performs a little bit better compared to the ram 2 or the sherman 3 has a little bit more penetration 120 compared to about 100 a little bit more alpha too, 90 compared to like 80 or 75 or so. So machine gun of a rapid firing gun. Shell velocity is actually not half bad along with the actual penetration of gold shell. So if you go above 1000 meters per second at low tier, that's relatively good compared to the 700 or 600 or so. High explosive is high explosive, yada yada. Uh, DPM is about 2000, so not the craziest for a 57mm. The best DPM of that caliber goes to the T34, which is about 2400 or so. Pretty nuts with a rammer, but it's alright. It's faster than a T34, supposedly. Aim time is okay. Accuracy is, I mean, low tier. It's about 0 0.3837 with a 100% crew, so not half bad, but. And you're rapid firing. If you miss a few shell, it's alright. You just reload quickly. 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation, that's okay. Uh, 80 rounds is about the same as a... Surprisingly, Matilda. The Matilda Black Prince has a low ammo count for a 6 pounder gun. I mean, it's totally different with a Sherman, but... Let's see, Cavalier has a 75, that doesn't count. So Sherman 3... It has about freaking 225 rounds of a 6 pounder gun. Yeah, yeah, no. It's not even close to this. It's only a third of the ammo count on this vehicle. Uh, Matilda Black Prince. Let's see. Oh, that's the firepower. Ammo count, about 65 rounds of the 6 pounder gun. 6 pounder gun, so... It has decent amount of ammo, but... You'll run out of ammo if you, if you spam too much. I mean, it's no Sherman, but it's still better than the Matilda Black Prince, surprisingly. Top speed of 60, reverse of 30. It's alright, it's an armored car, that's fine. Horsepower to ratio, about 21. So it's actually a little bit better than the average of 16 or 17 or so from stuff like the Panzer IVs, the Shermans, the T-34s or so. Wait. How much is the T-34 horsepower per ton ratio? 17. So about the same ballpark as the medium tanks. 17 for the Panzer IVs. Sherman have about 15 or so. So not the best, but eh, this thing is alright. 20 is alright. Weighs about 14 tons. Hull traverse of 30. Turret traverse of 46. 
that's still pretty quick for a armored car. Total hit points is about light tanks. A little bit better than light tanks, but low for medium tanks. So it's in the middle between the light and the mediums. Armor is non-existent. And 35 for the turret front. That doesn't mean much unless you're shooting high explosive or so. But view range is average 350. It's middle of the pack. Radio is... It's tier 5. <laughs> it's not that great, but not the worst. So, AP, APCR, high explosive. It's fine, but stock turret looks like from the Valentine, historically, with a 2 pounder gun. Modified 2 pounder, but. Huh. Also, have the dinner plate for the Brin on top. That should be a Brin, but it has a dinner plate magazine instead of the, the banana magazine. Alright, so 120 rounds of the 2 pounder. This is a stock gun. Shell velocity is actually not half bad, but doesn't have the Matilda's penetration of the 2 pounder, surprisingly. Interesting. Matilda's 2 pounder has about 20 more millimeters of pin for the same caliber. Alright. Uh. Staghound coming soon after the 6 pounder gun, yada yada, of course. Alright, full stats comparison stock gun for 2 pounder, 6 pounder upgraded gun. Uh, you have lower rate of fire, obviously, for a larger caliber, but faster traverse with the upgraded turret. Yep. Accuracy is better, aim time is not as that much of a difference. So 0.1 is not that big. DPM is slightly better by 200. That's fine. Uh, weighs about 14 tons. What is surprising is when I look up the 5T truck, it does not mean the 5T is the actual weight of the truck. It means that it can carry about 5T. It actually weighs about 10 to 14 tons or 15 tons or so. So this thing weighs about the same as a 5T truck. Alright, just a small fun fact, I guess. <laughs> Ultraverse 31 with a full crew. Camo is more of a medium tank, so don't expect that much camo. I mean, it's the same with all the armored cars, so you don't have that much camo, but view range better by 10 meters from the stock turret. Radio is not that much better, but eh, eh, you're just running around <laughs> at tier 5. Now, the downside to this vehicle is the recent. BT-42 and they have a high explosive round <laughs> that well that doesn't one shot you but getting close getting pretty close so equipment wise all the armored cars could fit a turbocharger and I do recommend you putting a turbocharger on this thing but yeah it's not well it's outrunning a BT-42 but it's not out revving up a BT-42 that thing turns corners compared to this vehicle so yeah, you cannot outrun. You could outrun in a straight line, but you have to get there first. But it's hard to get there. Rammer for equipment. I would say turbocharger. And then optics. You don't need anything other than the rammer for firepower. You don't need the improved aiming or enhanced gunling drive. You're already running about. You're not slowing down. So this is not a sniper like with the higher calibers. Like with the GSOR, Tintin FB. You're not doing that. So... You're running around, you're not fully aiming most of the time, so maybe improve aiming. If you feel the 0.39 accuracy or 0.37 with a 100% crew, not sufficient enough, but yeah, 0.37. But I would still say rammer, optics, and turbocharger to just run around and just peanut throw everybody. Tons of damage in a long amount of time of throwing peanuts so that's ah, fine it's whatever of a medium tank at tier 5 I don't think it will break the meta I don't think it will be as fun as the BT-42 that we saw yesterday so high explosive round will eat through this thing but then again it takes long for them to reload so you have like three rounds of the six pounder to their one round of 114 so yeah, three rounds of this is not as much damage as the high explosive rounds <laughs> from a derp gun. But overall, uh, it's like a 
it's fine. It's like a 5 out of 10. I mean, there are no crazy aspects about this vehicle that stands out. If this thing could carry like a 90mm or at least a 75, that would be great, but it's still in the same ballpark as what you expect out of an armored car in tier 5. It's not the craziest, doesn't break the meta, it's fine, 5 out of 10, but yeah, surprising how we don't have a Toyota Hilux at tier 5. <laughs> Begin stitching with the quad cannon. Let's kick up some dirt. But there we go, folks. The British Armor Cars coming in the upcoming patch. Common test will likely be tomorrow on Thursday, usually. But it's been a while. It's been about a month and a half. So we should expect the next upcoming common test before the third season of this year of Battle Pass. So we have to see all the skins as well as the other stuff, the newer vehicles. But common test should be updated pretty soon and we'll take a look at these vehicles but for now they feel fine so they feel the same as a Japanese tank destroyer or Chinese rocket heavy tanks they don't break the meta they don't seem to be that broken in the aspect of ratios but they're fine so as always thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time peace